Alright, so we got this refrigerator that is cool, but nothing is freezing. The temperatures are too warm in the refrigerator and the freezer. What do you think the problem is? Well, to figure this out, you're going to want to take off the back. One screw up there. One screw over there. The two screws right there. You take off the little chimney that's in the very back center right there. Once you do that, then you're going to want to take this foam out very carefully because this is what feeds the cold air down into the refrigerator. Once you pull that out, then you can go ahead and take out the entire back. The part down here also comes up. It's screwed down on each side. Okay, now you can see all this junk right here. A lot of times what happens is this stuff gets stuck inside of the little drain hole. So when the defrost timer kicks in and starts defrosting these coils so it doesn't freeze up it drains down inside of here, goes down the tube into the compressor. And the compressor gets so hot, it evaporates the water, and that's how you do that. The hole gets clogged with some of these peas and grime and stuff like that. You can clear that out with a, a little hose. This right there will let you know that the inside of your refrigerator is leaking water. But in this case, we have no cool air going through there. This evaporator fan motor is going out. I was able to kickstart it, but I'm going to have to replace that. If you look closely, you can see that the, um, the frost timer is working, so it's good. Drip in the water, it's going down to the drain, and then take care of that. When that evaporator fan motor right there um, seizes up or it just completely dies and you cannot revive it, all these coils become a solid block of ice. And with that being said, no air is getting through here to the refrigerator. So, what you're going to do is make sure that the power is turned off and you're going to take the two screws off of the back. You're going to take off your wiring, remove the motor and fan in the bracket, apply the new one, mount it back on, hook up your wires again, and you're good to go. Go ahead and put everything back together the way that you took it off. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comment box. And I can help you out a little bit more detail about that. Thank you.